Why this doesn't exist in real life baffles me to this day because it is the coolest guitar moment in all movie history. What's up everybody, how's it going? I'm Brad Dollar, welcome to the channel, it's great to see you. Music and movies go hand in hand, and there are a ton of great films with music at the center of the storyline. But across all of the comedies, documentaries, action films and otherwise, there are some really iconic guitar moments. So in this video, as a lifelong guitar player and movie buff, I'm gonna share with you my three top favorite guitar scenes in all of movie history. These are my favorite moments where guitar and guitar playing lifestyle play a key role. But before we get started, if you can do me a huge favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button, that would do a lot for my little channel. Seriously, little actions like that do a ton to bring videos like this to more people just like yourself. So without further ado, let's go. So believe it or not, this list was actually a little difficult to make. And I wanna make a special note that I'm not including music movies in this list. So like Purple Rain, Amazing, Through the Never, the Metallica movie, Awesome, Hard Day's Night. I'm excluding those because those movies are about the artists that are in those movies and those movies are centered around. So we can do a different video for that. And if you want to see a video about the top music movies, let me know, we can make one. But for now, we're going to focus on purely fictional movies that have placed guitar playing or guitarist at the center of the action. All right, so the number three top guitar moment in movie history is none other than the Stratocaster scene from Wayne's World 1. Excalibur. Wow. If there was ever a guitar scene in a movie that I think all of us can relate to, it's this one. In this part of the movie, Wayne just got a little bit of cash for the first time from getting a sponsorship deal for his show, Wayne's World. So, of course, the first thing he does is go to a guitar shop and pick out a guitar. But not any guitar, the guitar that he's been lusting after for a long time. Except this time, he can actually buy it. Do you accept? Between the feelings so many of us have had of chasing that unobtainium piece of gear and the sheer comedy of the May I Help You riff. May I help you? Yes, my good man. This scene is nothing short of iconic and relatable. I really relate to this myself. I spent so much of my young life in guitar centers playing my own version of the May I Help You riff on instruments I had no business playing on. Actually, come to think about it, I, uh, I do have a May I Help You guitar, which I got from Guitar Center El Cerrito when I was a kid and I wanted it extremely bad and uh, I've had it ever since. So uh, I do actually have one of those. Hey. No stairway. Denied. So for me, the number three top guitar moment in movie history is definitely the Wayne's World Stratocaster scene. And coming in at number two is one of my all-time favorites. It's the battle of the band scene in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Well, now, honestly, you could have put Bill and Ted's one, two, and three in this list because they're such fun, guitar-centric, music-centric, band-centric movies. But out of all of them, the battle of the band scene at the end of Bogus Journey is one of my all-time favorite music scenes ever. If you've ever played in a band or with a group of people and been in some sort of music competition, you can definitely relate to this struggle of trying to get your band heard, making sure people show up to hear you, and just hoping that you're good enough. Let alone, in this case, you're fighting against evil time travelers. <laughs> Totally killed us, you evil metal dickweeds! So maybe that part is a little different for most of us, but they definitely hit the nail on the head with this battle of band scene, which I have to mention, Primus is in, which is always awesome to see another Bay Area band show up. I think playing Tommy the Cat. What I love about this guitar scene is that it's a culmination of everything in those films into that moment. From their terrible musicianship that had to get better, to the time traveling into the future to actually take guitar lessons and come back. That was a fast 16 months of intensive guitar training, dude. To the alien robot band members and death playing bass, it's just sort of this really fun, iconic music supergroup that you kind of wish you could go see on tour. Sooner or later, you dance with the Reaper. <laughs> and lastly, this version of God Gave Rock and Roll, which is performed by Kiss in the film, is definitely like in my top 100 favorite rock and roll songs of all time. And it for sure suits this scene. So coming in at number two is the end scene of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And real quick, if you haven't seen the new Bill and Ted film, definitely go check that out. The soundtrack is awesome. The plot and storyline is really good. And like the last 15 minutes of the film are so satisfying. So go check it out. Plus, like, dude, who doesn't love Keanu Reeves? So that's number two. Let's rock! And last but not least, speaking of time travel, coming into the number one spot for the top guitar moment in all of history is Marty McFly in the first Back to the Future within that first 10 minutes when he tries out Doc's new guitar amp. Oh, 
Seriously, I don't know why this amp doesn't exist in real life. Even like a miniaturized version. Like I've always wanted to build something that had a bunch of huge knobs and big switches and just <laughs> kind of like felt magnificent like this. Now it's ridiculous, right? Like we're never gonna have big speakers like this. You've heard me talk on this channel. Like I don't even have like a main amplifier here. I'm like running stuff DI through a two notes torpedo. Nonetheless, what guitar player doesn't want to plug into an amp like that and feel the sheer power? I also crack up every time that the amp is massive and the guitar he's playing is so tiny. Like, what is that? Is that one of those little Fernandez Traveler guitars? Like, I don't, I don't know. But I love this scene. And when I first started playing guitar when I was 11 years old, this was one of the first moments that I tried to like recreate and try to replay. And every time I do plug into an amp, I always just want to stand in front of it like that raise my hand up and crank my arm through it. I've been lucky that in doing so, I've never blown an amp up like that and been kicked 10 feet back into a room. But in the back of my head, I always sort of like wish I could do that and like not hurt anybody or not get hurt myself and just have fun because getting blown back by sound like a Maxell tape commercial kind of sounds awesome. With my eardrums intact, of course, right? Like best case scenario. So I love the scene. I think that this scene probably kicked off so many people wanting to play guitar. And throughout the whole movie, that desire to to want to have a life as a musician, to be a guitar player, you know, in Back to the Future 2, it's like a little sad because his guitar dreams didn't really come to life in that reality. Like, I think we can all relate to that bittersweet aspect of it too, but it's really nice that that whole story and that storyline starts from this really fun and iconic moment of just plugging into a huge amp that's way too big, cranking it up and seeing what happens. If you've never done this, if you've never tried plugging into a big amp like this and cranking it up just to feel what it's like, definitely like go rent one, go to a studio and try one out, go to Guitar Center and just try one out. It's awesome to feel and it'll give you a little bit of that sensation of what Marty McFly feels in this top guitar scene of all movie history. So I hope that video was fun. I love movies and when all you love doing is playing guitar or recording or playing bass or keys or drums or singing or songwriting, like whatever it is you love to do, I feel like movies are such a good distraction for our brains that still feel so comfortable and engaging and lets us use our imagination. And so anytime music and movies come together and create these moments of synchronicity, of fun and really just being so memorable and touching our hearts and landing in our lives with some reality, it's a blast to experience and reminds us of like why we make music, movies, and art in the first place. So let me know what you guys think. What are your top guitar moments in movie history? What did I miss? What are some movies that you love to watch? What are some killer guitar scenes? I know I left some stuff out like Roadhouse and School of Rock and there's a lot of good ones. So what are some out there that you love to watch and some that always jog your memory as the best guitar moments in movie history? Let me know in a comment below. So that's it for now. Seriously, y'all, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really appreciate you. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers and you know, if you were just here for the 500 subscriber giveaway, we gave away and it makes our carbon copy. We're gonna give something else away at a thousand, so stay tuned, join in for the fun, and I hope that maybe it's you. So seriously, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.